Right, in order to be able to calculate relative frequency, you first have to sum up the frequencies to get the total number of frequencies. So let's do that quickly. We're going to do 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 18 plus 10 plus 11 plus 1. And we get the answer 49. So that's the total number of frequencies. Now if I want to calculate the relative frequency for each one of these frequencies, I just take the frequency itself. In this case, the first one is 1. And I divide it by that total of 49. And again, we get 0 0.02 if you round it off to two decimal places. If you do the same with the next one, again, it's going to be 2 divided by 49. Hit enter and you get 0 0.04. And that's how you calculate this list. This list, when you're done, should sum up to 1.00 or something very close to 1, like 0.999. Sometimes there's a little rounding error, so it might be 0.999 or something instead of 1. But it should add up to 1 or something very close to it.